my heartbeat was really fast hi everyone welcome back to my channel and in case you're on this channel for first time i am mohinder and here we talk about anything and everything like you must already guessed from the title of this video i recently got the first dose of my covid vaccine i wanted to make this video to discuss the symptoms or the side effects that i experienced because of this vaccine and i hope it helps you in understanding what to expect when you decide to take the vaccine now the vaccine that i got was astrazeneca before getting the vaccine there wasn't any precautions that i was asked to take my appointment was at 8.30 in the morning once I reached at the center. They asked me a few very generic questions. If I've had flu in the past, if I've had COVID in the past, if I've had any other vaccination for either flu or COVID. Since I've had neither of these, so I was directed to the next room where I received my vaccine, which again, it is absolutely pain-free process. While I am somebody who is really, really scared of needles, it was actually pretty simple. The vaccine is injected in your arm in a muscle and it is advised that if you're right-handed you take the vaccine in your left arm because one of the most common side effects of the vaccine is that you experience a very sore or heaviness in your arm now when i received this vaccine the lady who injected me did give me a brief idea about what i was to expect in the next couple of days the side effects actually get worse after one or two days and may last up to a week the common side effects include headache as i mentioned heaviness in your arm some fatigue and other flu-like symptoms like fever etc. Now I was advised to take any paracetamol to deal with the fever and if the fever rises and if the symptoms get really worse I was advised to speak to my general practitioner in that case. Personally what I experienced was I got the vaccine at 8.30 in the morning. I had a very regular day at office, but at about 7, 7.30 in the evening, that is when um, things started going a little south. It started with me feeling a lot of fatigue. I felt really tired and low on energy. And after about an hour, half an hour or so, my arm started hurting really bad. And then it started getting worse pretty quickly. I started having headache and I started experiencing chills. Now, I had heard a lot about that people experience chills after getting the vaccine. I wasn't really sure what to expect for that. And I'm here to tell you what exactly these chills are. So I was wearing layers of clothes, but still I was feeling cold and I was experiencing goosebumps on my arms and legs every couple of minutes. They would last for about 10 or 15 seconds and I would be okay. And then after a couple of minutes, I would experience goosebumps on my arms and legs again. I also developed fever, um, but like I was recommended, I took ibuprofen the very common paracetamol and the fever started to subside in about next hour or so i was absolutely fine of course i did still have pain in my arm and a little fatigue from the fever which is i guess something very normal if you're recovering from fever but i did not experience any other side effects one thing although worth mentioning over here would be that i could feel like my heartbeat was really fast uh, for about like a couple of hours you know how after running you could feel your heart beating in your chest I did not experience any breathlessness per se but I did experience I did feel that thing in my heart I don't know although it might be just from the exhaustion or something I was just feeling but yeah just just wanted to put it out there that if you experience that I don't think it is anything to be worried about the night was fine and once I had taken the medicine the fever subsided and next morning although I did not have any fever but I had so much of fatigue I felt really low on energy and I was trying to make time to take naps in between my meetings but at rest it was fine and by end of day two I was more than okay the arm though it continued to stay a bit sore and continued to hurt for a couple of days uh, and even now also so at, at sometimes it just hurts so that was it with my experience with the covid vaccine I am scheduled for my next dose in June and I'll let you know how it goes then. I hope this video is beneficial to you and if what I experienced is a fraction of what actual COVID symptoms are, I think it is worth taking the medicine and I think these vaccines are really our best bet to get rid of COVID because history has it that diseases like smallpox etc they could be fought only because of vaccines. So just wanted to let this message out there um, because I'm not medically certified, I'm not a professional, but I just, I'm just i happy to share my experience. So if you have any more questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer to the best of my knowledge. And I'm also pretty active on Instagram. I'll add my Insta handle here. So feel free to DM me. I'll see you soon in my next video. Until then, take care of yourself 
and be nice to each other. Bye!